Hey, how you guys doing? It's your girl, No Fuse. You all seem to like my videos where I rant away about different characters, so here's another one for you. And if you want more, then please smash that like and subscribe button. And you also seem to know that this isn't going to be the first time that I've ranted about certain characters in the Sly Cooper series, but this might be the last time that I harp on it. Maybe. But you know, the more I thought about the main villain, the first Sly Cooper, Clockwork, the more I came to realize how many holes and questions there were in his story. For example, his explanation about how he went from a normal owl to becoming a giant owl death machine, he says over the years he slowly turned his body into metal to stay alive in order to make sure he eradicates every member of the Cooper clan. Now, as a kid playing this game, I accepted that answer, but now that I'm older, I'm starting to see how that wouldn't make any sense. I know some of you out there are like, it's game logic, don't sweat the small stuff, and I would gladly do that if this world was more out there or more ridiculous, if I want to use that word. Like, I would accept it that explanation if the game was way more cartoony, there's a bunch of stupid stuff happening all the time in it, and it just happened all the time in the game. But that's not the case here. This world that Sly lives in is in modern times and surrounds a comic book world that holds way more logic than a super cartoony game. So I'm just trying to match the logic to the quality of the game itself. So. How did Cloudward become a giant machine in ancient times when all they had to work with back then was clay, wood, maybe even stone? Metal working and electricity wasn't really invented yet. And sure enough, not computer programmed to stuff Clockwork's mind into the freaking robot. So how can you explain this? For the longest time, there was no explanation, there was no answer about how this came to be until the game Sly Cooper Thieves in Time came out. That's when it hit me. Cause you remember the main villain, the gang leader, Lee Paradox? Yeah, how he was jumping through time and messing around with stuff he shouldn't be and Sly and the gang went after him to undo the damage? Now what if they missed the place? What if they never realized? He went to Egypt to do whatever he was trying to do, and by chance met Clockwork. And it was friendship at first sight. And he agreed to help Clockwork with his goal because it aligned with his. Then that would make a ton of sense. Lee Paradox is a technological genius that even Pen Penelope herself respected so much that she agreed to work for. So it wouldn't be hard to imagine this scenario playing out. Because think about it. In Clockwork's mind, he was probably thinking the Paradox was just trying to help him out, but in reality he was being used as a backup plan in case he failed to defeat Sly in the future. That's genius. So basically what was happening here is that he, the Paradox put a plan on top of a plan on top of a backup plan. Like so if for some reason that Sly did defeat the Paradox, which he does, he would, he would just, you know, grin like, ha ha ha, I have all these other backup plans. There's no way you can feed them all. Oh, you did. Uh, I mean, yeah, Sly, if you haven't played the game, Sly defeats all his plans. He defeats every time loop that he finds, including Clockwork, which was way back in the past, which was the future, you know. We got all that going on, but you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's genius. He's like, so if I can't defeat you in the future, I'll just make sure that, uh, that you just never exist. But, yeah, as you know, he, the, everyone fails to take out Sly because Sly is Sly, you know? But that would definitely fill up some of the backstory holes except for one. Clockwork tells Sly that he's hated his family since way back when, but why? Was, Clock, was there ever a Clockwork DLC ever released about this or something of the sort? If there was, please let me know in the comments below because I haven't seen it. I have seen not one whisper about an explanation about this. 
Now, if there wasn't any explanation in DLC or whatever it is ever explained about why Clover could could have hated the Cooper clan, uh, here's my theory. I think Clockwork used to be either part of a rival thief clan or was Sly's ancestor's partner in crime. And everything was good at first, you know, they had that friendly rival relationship going on for a while, but then that one event happened between them that fucked it all up. And now I don't know what could what could have happened. What it could have been a number of things. It could have been a number of different events. But you have to think it must must have been really really bad because it was so bad that it left Clockwork bitter and hatred towards the entire Cooper li lineage. Like he hated all Coopers all over the world. He hated every single descendant. He made it his life mission to take them all out. What in the hell could have happened to set this off? But uh, there's also this other thing I need I, I wanted to point out. And that is how cliche Clockwork was as a villain. Okay, hear me out before you start yelling at me, okay? <laughs> hear me out. So this man, if you can call him that, did all of this, did all of this work, went through how many years of living he went through to take out all of the Coopers, and now he is at a point where he has the lives of what I am assuming the last two Coopers in the palm of his hands. Victory is assured. The finish line is right there. You can see it. He literally has to take two more steps and he has passed the finish line. It's over. Revenge achieved. But he kills his dad. He kills Sly's dad. But let's Sly live. Why? <laughs> now I understand if he didn't let Sly live, there would be no game. The credits would have already rolled down, unless there was some other mystery character we didn't know about. But that's not the case here, it's just Sly. So the game would have ended right there, there would be no story. I got it. I got it. And I'm gonna get on that later. Okay, I'm gonna get on that little detail later. But I'm, I'm, I'm coming back for you, Clockwork, right now. Okay, I'm, I'm coming after you. Now, some of you may argue that he, you know, Sly was hidden as a kid. He was hidden in the house and all that, so he didn't know he was there. Yeah, but in the end of Sly Cooper 1, even Sly at the end was baffled at why he let him live because Clockwork made it very obvious that he knew that Sly was alive the entire time. So even if he didn't know he was in the house, he still knew he was alive, walking around, living his life. So Sly even asked him, why did you let me live? He's like, you done fucked up. Like, I took, I've took, i taken out all of your people. You were the last one left. Like, why would you let me live and fuck up your entire plan like this? And what's Clockwork's excuse? I wanted to show the world that without the Thievius Raccoonus, the Cooper clan is nothing. Wait, what? Clockwork, go back to Villain 101. Go back to class for a refresher because you failed. You freaking failed. You mean to tell me you could have attained victory all those years ago, but you decided not to because of your pride and morals? You are a villain. You no longer have morals or emotions. You throw those in the mental vault and send that vault to the darkest farthest recesses of your mind with no key or combination in sight. Maybe when everything is said and done, you can open the vault again. But not while you're doing your revenge plot. You take out whoever you need to to get the job done. No matter who it is. Now, because of that, you ruined your own plan before it can even blossom. You, you literally watched the plant grow, and then at the very last moment, it literally is about to bloom. Your revenge flower is about to bloom, and you, you, you step on it. You step on it, it rots, it, it's derooted. You, you messed up. You messed up. Now, now going back to the beginning, back to the beginning of when Sly's dad died and Sly
Firefly could have died, but didn't die. Now, the beginning of the story could have taken a whole different turn if Clockwork had handled Sly differently. Even Sly's character could have changed completely because of it. But I'm not going to go into that too much because we need to wrap it up. Because this is about Clockwork. This is Clockwork's video. This ain't Sly's video. Now, if you guys want to see Sly's video of how the beginning could have changed Sly's character and how the entire story could have been altered, then leave a like below. And let's say, let's make a little goal here. Let's say 10 likes. If this video gets 10 likes, I will make a Sly Cooper video about this whole, about this whole shebang. But if not, if it doesn't make it to 10 likes, then you guys can use your imagination. I don't mind at all. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.